Antes yo me gastaba unos 200 I used to spend no nada más ha subido la comida, sino Not only, utilidades como um, electricidad, do I talk agua, about food, la ropa, but utilities, clothes, for, everything for utilities, is like much water, more expensive. And energy, and clothes. Sí, y bueno, pues yo como yo soy de la de la clase media y trabajo I am middle fuerte, class igual que todos de la clase media trabajamos a lot and just like everybody else in the middle class somos ambiciosos we work very nada hard. más que said we're ambitious but that ambition sometimes it's really difficult to keep no up with because we see life is going up and we just simply cannot I, go ahead we can't move ahead women, and uh, you said we're ambitious but it's hard to maintain that ambition when uh, conditions are so so hard so challenging yes Uh, mi pregunta es entonces So my question is as follows. What are you going to do to help the middle class so that the cost sure of the cost living of does not destroy, destroy us? The middle class. Thank you for the question. And your point, listen, I know prices are too high still. You know prices are too high still. And we have to deal with it. Here's how I feel about it. Again, you've heard my story. I, I come from the working class. I'm never going to forget where I come from. And part of what we have to do is build what I call an opportunity economy, where people have the opportunity, like you have described, for you to be able to work hard and your five daughters have an opportunity to then do what they and what you aspire for them to be able to do without having to worry about just getting by. I want you to be able to get ahead. So here's my plan. It includes what we need to do to bring down the cost of, for example, groceries. One of the issues I'm going to be taking on is price gouging. And let's talk about the economy. That is the top issue for yeah. voters out there. 74% of voters said the past year they've had to cut back on groceries because of the rising costs, of course. And a lot of those voters, they're concerned that they cast their vote for Kamala Harris, but she's responsible for that. Yeah. So how do you reach those voters? What do you say to those voters who may blame her for the economy right yeah, now? Yeah, folks in the middle. Well, we talk to them about what are the policies that are going to make a difference. And, and we see some of the data, but data doesn't impact people in their daily lives going to the grocery store. And you see false information, whether it's bird flu impacting eggs. But the reality for most people is if those costs are up, they want to know what you're going to do about it. I think that's why she's focusing on making sure whether it's home ownership more affordable, tax cuts for the middle class. And let's just be candid about this. There's price gouging piece of this.